Hello everyone! In this video we'll show you some places to eat, drink coffee and some cool parks to visit in Zagreb. First up is Le Struk, restaurant that serves only Strukli, traditional Croatian dish. Inside there is also a nice courtyard and smoking area. This is a freshly prepared baked Strukli with dough, cheese and different toppings like blueberries, apples, truffle oil, pumpkin seeds. Everything is freshly made to order and usually take 20 to 40 minutes to get your dish. Tastes like super truffle. Super truffle? Mm -hmm. Super hot too, right? Mm -hmm. Really hot to eat, but it's good. If you want to try something Croatian, it's a good, good thing to try. It. The sweet blueberry chocolate. One person said that they're ready to die the same day with a mouth full of blueberry chocolate. Let's yep. see. Alright, let's it's good, cheesy, creamy, but not super sweet. Okay. For this. Second stop is the Bravica Bakery. It is a chain, so you can find many of them in the central part of town. Here's good pizza by slice and also a big selection of sweet and savory pastries. Our best food experiences in Zagreb was Taste of India. This place serves meat and vegetarian dishes and they are equally good. Even rice was perfect, fresh and little crispy. Servers were nice and helpful. There was not too many people when we arrived, but then place got packed, so it's a good sign. Cheese naan, rice, rice, mutton karagi, and mushroom masala. Mushroom masala. Another good place to eat is a Sri Lankan curry bowl. This restaurant is located on the Tkalticheva street, an old street with numerous bars, cafes and restaurants. First we ordered assorted appetizers, plates with two types of sauce and mint chutney and that was great. My tuna coconut curry with cinnamon was also unique and delicious. Alex ordered hot butter calamari with basmati rice and sweet chili paste. All food was great, service was awesome and I would definitely be back there. I already missed it, Cory. If you like drink beer and listen heavy metal, you can check out Valhalla Metal Bar. Here you can find a good selection of top beer and bottled beer. This bar is not too big, so it could be crowded at night, but around noon when we were here, that was perfect and nice and empty. We also tried the local knockoff of McDonald's, Big Five. It was not bad, inexpensive and interesting. This place is located on Bani Lachit Square. It's okay, the meat's a little bit weird. I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like sausage meat or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's a cheese, a fried piece of cheese, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like coconut shake, you know, I'm like such really coconut slut. <laughs> Everything was so coconut. Oh, and I forgot about this wing. Let me let me take a bite of this wing real quick. Hmm, that's good. good Salty, mm -hmm. spicy, Not doesn't stink. Mm -hmm. And the last place I should talk about is Botanichar Cafe. You can smoke there. There is pretty good coffee and pretentious stuff. That gives you that funny European snobby experience. They also serve local Croatian gin Luftbremser.
Now let's talk about parks. Five minutes away from Botanichar Cafe is Zakra Botanical Garden. It's not big, but it's all and well-maintained garden with big variety of plants, ponds and bridges. I like to walk here even though it was October, but the garden probably more beautiful in spring or summer. It was also nice to see a real persimmon tree. Maximir Park is the largest masterpiece of garden architecture in Croatia with six lakes, opened in 18th century. This is perfect place for walking, biking, bounding with the nature and also here you can find a zoo. We are now at Maximir Park. Yeah, it's also a zoo, a uh, central zoo. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's somewhere here. Where is here. the zoo? Oh, it's in here somewhere? Yeah, I think it's down here. It's a massive park, I was looking at the map. Yeah, perfect place for exercise, running or you know, something. Yeah, if you... If you wanted to exercise, I could see like if I was like here, like staying longer, I'd run. You know, you could run like a couple miles. Yeah. Oh, if you bring your like working out gear with you, that's a good place to go. Yeah. So we're gonna walk. There's also like monuments in here too. Mm -hmm. And lakes. Oh yeah, there's lakes, monuments. There's a church. We're gonna look at the obelisk. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? Yeah, and some like Finnish house. So yeah, let's check it out. Miragoi is a beautiful cemetery with very impressive facade. Facade building was damaged by earthquake in 2020, so that's why you can see a lot of scaffolding there. We came to Zagreb around All Saints Day, which is a public holiday. Most tombs belong to one family. Traditionally, people come to clean and decorate the tombs of their relatives with the flowers and candles. It is a resting place for many famous Croatians. The tunnel is a pedestrian tunnel located in the city center of Zagreb, under the historic neighborhood of Gric, or Gradic, which gave the tunnel its name. The tunnel consists of central hall, which is connected by two passageways to Misnitska street in the west and Stepan Radic street in the east, and four passageways extending it to the south. It was built during World War II to serve both as a bomb shelter and a promenade. The tunnel was also used during the Croatian War of Independence in 1990s and was remodeled in 2016. Also, you can walk up the trail near the exit on Strosmajerovo Setalište Street and find beautiful Gric Park, which is part of old medieval defense wall of Zagreb.
Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Bye.